part of my intention when I'm doing these series of books that I'm recommending is not so much to put out books that I think are uh, great fun to read or that everybody would love or anything like that, but I think what I'm trying to do is put some books out there before people's eyes that they might not have heard of, but that if you want to think of yourself as a as a conscious, educated person, you should be exposed to it, at least you should know about. And this is one of those books. Um, it's a little on the edge, but I think it's really interesting. It's called A Course in Miracles. And this book in the 70s and the 80s was kind of everywhere. And then it kind of faded away. And I think a lot of people have kind of forgotten about it. But it's a really interesting book. The, um, the person who's most associated, it was actually, well, let me go back. This book is one of these channel books. A woman named Helen Shookman kind of went into a trance or whatever you want to talk about and delivered these words supposedly from Jesus. That was who she identified this with. And the, the person that the book has been most associated with since then is, been, is Marianne Williamson. And she went on Oprah at one point, I think in the 80s, talked about this and the book kind of took off to the skies. So what is it? If we think about what a miracle is, a miracle is something like um, a man is blind, Jesus comes, touches him, and he regains his sight, or couldn't walk and then could walk or the sun stops in the course in the sky, whatever. A miracle is something that is an event that takes place that defies all known laws of physics. But what A Course in Miracles, the premise underneath A Course in Miracles is that a miracle is really an everyday occurrence if our minds were in another mindset. For instance, if we had Jesus here and we could interview him and say to him, well, how did you, you know, bring Lazarus back from the dead? I'm sure he would say something like, you know, I just, my mind was in touch with the creator, whatever, whatever, and it worked. So this, it calls itself A Course in Miracles, and it is a course. There's actually three parts, and one part is the actual course. And the course is a 365-day uh, thing that you're supposed to, where each day has a lesson. It's maybe two pages long or even shorter than that. And the lesson is a little short aphorism. Like one of them is, I will trust my brothers with whom I am one. That kind of thing. And what you're supposed to do if you take this course is you sort of imbibe that lesson in the morning. There's a little uh, chapter about it. And then you try to live that lesson through the course of the day. And I've known a lot of people who have tried to do this book. I tried it myself. I got up to like day 40 and I just couldn't go any farther because if you really could do these lessons, you would like leave your body at the end of the thing. Another lesson in here is in my defenselessness is my salvation, something like that. So that um, it is trying to convert you day by day or to change your mindset into a really pure, all spiritual mindset. So anyway, this is A Course in Miracles. It's a really interesting thing to expose yourself to. And if anybody can get from day one to day 365, uh, I take off my hat to you. Uh, but a very interesting book I think that we all ought to be at least exposed to, A Course in Miracles, channeled by Helen Shookman.